Incorporated in 1647, this is Maine's first and oldest town. When people think of this town, they often think about the outlet shopping, but there's so much more to this town. Amazing seafood, awesome places to explore and walk, have a picnic. It is where the Piscataqua River meets the Atlantic Ocean. Welcome to Kittery. Kittery is a charming coastal town in the southern part of Maine. The city is famous as a historic site. During summer, Kittery receives many tourists who visit the city to enjoy fresh seafood, a coastal Atlantic breeze, and the thriving art scene. Kittery is regarded as the oldest town in Maine and its popularity is drawn from its fascinating history which goes back to 1623 when it was simply a fishing town. Kittery also prides itself as a custodian of the region's naval activities. The Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is one of the oldest working Navy shipyards in the country. Yes, Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is in Kittery. Worth mentioning is the Alcatraz of the East, which was constructed between 1905 until it received its first prisoner and its completion in 1908. The Atlantic Ocean gives Kittery its signature fame, attracting tourists interested in exploring the coastline, relaxing, and exploring different coastal islands. Besides offering a relaxing environment, the city provides an opportunity to explore iconic buildings, such as Fort McClary, which played a significant role during the American Wars. Fort McClary is a must visit to learn about the importance of the Maine coast. Let's cross the bridge from Portsmouth, New Hampshire and get this adventure going. Warren's is a great place to grab some fresh seafood and they have a great salad bar. We're not stopping here today, but they're worth the mention. When people come to Kittery, they often come for the shopping at the factory outlets. But we're taking a detour to the downtown area. Just outside the gates of the Naval Shipyard, you will find a great laid-back vibe with many dining options, sure to please any palate. I wanted to explore a beach I've never been to, so I decided upon two, Crescent Beach and Seapoint Beach. While looking for Crescent Beach, I couldn't find an access point or any parking, but I found a deer and some great houses. If you know of a public access point, share it below. This was a great find with parking. You do need a permit, so make sure you check the town website for details. But it's a great place to come for a private walk, take the dog, go for a jog. All right, we're going to go exploring, but before we go exploring, you know what we got to do? We got to go get something to eat. So I found this place intentionally, Chauncey's Creek. It's a lobster pier. You got to bring your own booze. This is what Maine is to me. This is one of the coolest places around. You come down here, you got the little auto window, you got this big old deck, right? Just the exact vibe I was looking for so I could enjoy my lobster roll, which came on a hamburger bun, which I prefer because I think you get more lobster this way. And, well, what's a lobster pound without lobsters? So, there you go. There's some lobsters for you. All right, now we head over to uh, Fort Foster, which is a historic fort active between 1901 and 1946. Fort Foster originally had two gun batteries, Battery Bolin with three 10-inch guns, and Battery Chapin with two 3-inch guns on pedestal mounts. This was really something I didn't anticipate. It was a really cool i like historic things this is right on the coast of maine been over that bridge a hundred times in my life never knew this existed so it was fun to find this particular thing look at the size of some of these walls and stuff different time very different time imagine this imagine the view a hundred and some odd years ago this was your view every day you had to keep watch on that This was something really cool. I was walking on this. I, I've never been here. 50 years old living in this area. I've never been here. And so I'm walking on this. I'm like, wow, this seems like a bunker. And well, it was surely a bunker of some sort. So every bunker's got to have a door, right? Bada bang, what do you know? They got a door. Bunkers everywhere. Two for one bunkers today only. So as we make our way over to this big hunk of concrete and steel, 
Uh, it's pretty ominous looking, right? Of course, uh, there are stairs. I gotta climb them. So what do we got up here? Imagine that's where one of those big guns went. Look at this view. You're in charge of making sure nobody crosses that. It's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Just imagine back in the day, right? This thing active. 24-7. So if you look at that bridge, that brings you from New Hampshire into Maine. All those cranes right there, that's the naval shipyard. And then there's the Alcatraz of the East. This is where the Piscataqua River meets the Atlantic Ocean. Listen, this place is really cool for a family get-together. I got family scattered throughout Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. We're always looking for a cool place to get together. This place is really cool, right? It's got the beach right there. It's got the bunker the kids can play on, right? All right here with picnic tables and grills, and there was restrooms there. So really a cool place for a family get-together, a day chilling out. Now, there is a fee to come into the park. It's 20 bucks per car. Plan ahead. But look at this. Isn't this a cool place to hang out? I mean, there was this pier here, so I had to walk it because that's just what we do. And it's Maine. There's lighthouses everywhere. This one's called Whaleback Light. As I was coming back, I noticed this path. And, I mean, if you see a path on the side of the beautiful ocean on an awesome day, you take it so I took it and not only was this view spectacular I mean look at this this is just stunning there are these places to sit and take in the view just relax nobody's gonna bother you that doesn't suck why hello buddy <laughs> all that exploring got me hungry so what I'm gonna do is head over to an amazing place to get some awesome seafood in between the outlets is bob's clam hut making awesome seafood uh, great stuff come here and order even guy fieri was here gave a thumbs up if you like that video go ahead and subscribe we're going to be featuring all the cool towns and villages uh, in maine if there's a small business awesome restaurant locally owned that you think would make a great place to feature go ahead and put that comment down below and we'll do our best to get it on the schedule and get it featured Anyways, if you have any questions about what's happening in the real estate market, go ahead and take a look in down below. I will leave a link to what's happening in the real estate market, properties for search, and also how you can find out the value of your home. I'm Johnny Moe with the Matea Group. I have a vested interest in keeping the economy moving and strong for our local small businesses and our towns. Anyways, off to the next episode. Hope to see you there. Next, we head up to York Beach and take a look around York Beach and York Village. Uh, if you're liking this content, go ahead and subscribe so you can follow along on our journey as we explore Maine. And if you're looking for any kind of real estate, click on the links down below. We have links to all the different communities and all the real estate for sale in Maine. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Johnny Moe. Let's explore Maine together.